At present, no more laughing. I am the representative of judicial authority on this island, and I have a murder on my hands. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. I want to have them answered immediately. Do you know if Walter Jones was wearing something around his neck on the night of his death? I remember very well that Mr. Jones always wore his chain around his neck. Why would he have taken it off? It had the key to his room and to his safe hung from it. Are there firearms somewhere in this tower? Mr. Jones owned a nice collection of guns. Mr. Jones. One can say that he was Mr. Man, an enlightened amateur. Did you hear a gunshot around 11 p.m.? The rain was falling, the wind was whistling, lightning was illuminating the sky, and thunder clapped. What else would you have liked me to hear, Inspector? Your mom moaning as I was giving her the ride of her life. Oh man, you should have seen it. I fucked her so hard the whole tower must have heard it. You're my son now, Biatch. Who is the rightful owner of this piece of chain? Hmm. It seems to me that Walter Jones wore a small chain like that. Thank you for the information. Not bad, Mr. Jones. The ocean has covered the whole island. Nice little safari for the entire Jones family. Strange, these drawers are closed and there is no obvious keyhole. At the hospital, my room's become a real campaign headquarters. Here I have reports to give plenty of people who have seen the last evolution of the weather. It'll be a real race against time for you. So, I'll call you regularly for an update on your investigation. Let's say around 12.30 p.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m., and also 7 p.m. If you've not significantly advanced, well, too bad. You're fired. With good feelings, my friend. I'd fire Rosie. I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. I'd say, Rosie, you're fired. I understand. See you later. What a fucking scumbag. First he keeps calling me all the fucking time. I mean, come on. Can you stop trying to get at my ass? What a pervert. Then he threatens to fire me. What is the world coming to? The caliber of this ammunition is not the same as that of the bullet that was found in Walter Jones's body. This box of cartridges of the 270 Winchester short magnum is open, and it is missing cartridges. 7.03 millimeter caliber. Just like the bullet that killed Jones. I only have to find the weapon that could have shot this bullet. Walter Jones really took care of his weapons. Walter Jones really took care of his weapons.
Ah, a two seventy caliber Winchester short magnum. This rifle was used recently. Trace. This rifle was used not long ago. No trace. No trace. It's better if I take the prints first. Fingerprints on a weapon. This reeks of an amateur. The smooth wood of this weapon rubbed against a rugged surface. Strange, Mr. Jones, that a man as careful as you left such an ugly scrape on your beautiful rifle. The wood of the stock is still dripping with flax oil. Something on this windowsill. Well, well, small bits of wood encrusted in the cement of the library windowsill. Various weapons could have shot a bullet of that caliber. It's not obvious which one is the arm used in the crime. What was the weapon of the crime? The bolted rifle with the scuffed body and eyepiece in Walter Jones's office is the weapon of the crime. Killed by one of his own weapons. How ironic. I have to find the spot from which the murderer pulled his trigger. This will inform me about him. Correct match.